Hi everyone, it's uh, Andrew, Algorithmic Trading Tools, uh, and uh, I returned from my holidays. I made a good video about the Bali and the islands journey. Yeah, if you're interested, you can watch it. the link will be under this video. And uh, the previous video I forecasted uh, about 3,400 target uh for sp 500 downtrend uh what we have now uh since nothing really changed which is we went to the holidays so as you can see uh we have this support line as uh, support line broken with this candle and now it's only way down deeply down so what's really happened on the market there are lots of uh, uh forecasts but i would like to point uh, your attention to the earning calendars which is starting from 26th of june 25th so you see with tesla lots of companies google and uh, also this apple and centra and here we have a similar uh, time july federal reserve meeting so it's all together this week, this from the 25th to the end of July will be very important, very crucial. And I uh, think so all the traders, because now it's still a July, it's quite time. Uh, the index will go up again to this one uh, a resistant line. So before it was support almost like for more than one week support it and eventually it was this uh, correction moved down like this uh, level support was broken and we had like very steep uh, move down and i expect it will be similar and it was happened you know see this by the end of june so i think it will be similar situation from a 25th 26th of july steep move down and um, uh, what so this will be maximum we can get we test from a, this ceiling now about 4050 70 uh, this will be very strong uh, resistance and uh, if you look at the, what's what's happened before so we can see here was uh, resistance and after support so i think will be can go at the end of the july will be down to this level 3500 something or even deeper to maybe 3400 but i think realistically we can go to the similar uh, support level 3000 200 yes yeah, so wherever this two those two levels nobody knows how it's uh, uh, the market reacting but it definitely from the end of july will go down statistically speaking statistically speaking this is a comparison uh, sp500 uh, the year 1970 and the year 2022 and in july was kind of a correction but i think it will be a better different story so if you look the start data we can see the july typically it's the uh, month of a positive return so i think will be similar story with july so it will be kind of a correction and this is a, a 7, 1974 was was very high inflation and uh, 2022 comparison as you can see we somewhere here so i think it will be july kind of a up move and a steep move down to 3200 i would say and after will be up uh, after october maybe uh, will be consolidation uh, in october and november up if you can see this october november yeah it's a uh, statistically speaking a uh, kind of a positive month so this is a more forecast 
it's very very high probability of this forecast I can see now so just wait it was very very uh, jittering and very up and down up and down will make the shares will make this another flag up and after this flag uh, formation will crush at the end of July so this is my forecast before I forecasted uh, from the beginning of this year very successfully all my correction materialized all my correction materialized pretty accurately just uh, checked all my videos before so hope you could uh, enjoy the trading and take like a couple of weeks of holidays because nothing will happen here and it's very hard to trade you know up and down up and down in, in directional market and come to the end of july to make money for your august holidays this is me andrew from sydney algorithmic trading tools and focus and uh, see you soon when my this forecast materialized at the end of july bye 